asking a lot, son. You're assuming a grave responsibility. Aside from a personal risk. And we feel confident that if anybody can get money through safely, you boys can. We'll make it all right. Tucson and Lullaby are on their way to Rock Springs to deliver some cattle. They're meeting me in Red Rock. I've wired the sheriff over there to see if he can fix up an escort on your way back. Now, this letter authorizes the president of the Red Rock National Bank to hand over to you $22,000 due the Cattlemen's Association. Good luck, and don't take any chances. Don't worry. The money's as good as here. Remember, Stoney, if anything happens to that money, I'll be bankrupt. Part of that money's ours, Jake. We're not in any position to lose it. Keep your fingers crossed, boys. We should be back sometime tomorrow. So long. All right, hand over that dough you collected. Well, you boys get around, don't okay. you? Uh, you've got the wrong tip. I haven't got the money. Thank you. That's all there is. Well, you chump, he's on his way to collect. But, dude, I got it straight. Ah, you couldn't get nothing straight. Well, I'm sorry to have put you boys to all this trouble. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah. Take off that outfit and watch me shave. Well, how about it? Say, you're a dead ringer for him, dude. <laughs> yeah. You look more like him than he does himself. <laughs> Take good care of him, Starlight. <laughs> Little 
They look enough alike. I'll take yours. He's easier to handle. <laughs> You know where to park him. Hello, boys. Howdy. Oh, we'll be in to see you as soon as Tony gets here. Fine. I'll have everything ready and waiting for you. of that guy. Something tells me he's a slicker. You think so? Positively. getting too fancy, I'll get him surrattled. He won't know whether he's playing pool or basketball. Hey, lunkhead, where'd you get them loud socks? I wear them socks to keep my feet from going to sleep, blockhead. He taught me. You should talk to me about socks. Why, you've got your socks on wrong side out. <laughs> yeah, feet got hot and I had to turn the holes on them. Nice to see you, too. Uh, wait for me, will you? Sure, I will. I'll see you later. Hi, Stoney. I'm rounding up the boys. We'll be waiting for you. Right. Yes, Mr. Brook. He's expecting you. Go right in. Thanks. What's the matter, Stoning? Aren't you speaking to your old friends anymore? Well, sure, sure. I, I didn't see you. How you feeling? Fine, thank you. Well, I'll see you later. Hello, Stoning. Howdy, Mr. Pierce. You're looking well. Thanks. Have you put on some weight? No, no, I don't think so. 
Sit down. Uh, have a cigar. Uh, no, I, I forgot you don't smoke. Well? I suppose you come for the money. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You are wise in taking every precaution with this gang of hoodlums at large. Yeah, yeah, I always believe in playing safe. Hi, Jim. Have you seen Stoney? He just went in the bank. Thanks. By the way, where are Tucson and Lullaby? Why, they could make it this trip. Hello, Miss McCoy. Is Stoney here? Yes. How's your work? Uh, fine, fine. You're not Stoney, Brooke. That's right. <laughs> Stony. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, the kid must have gone loco. Stony, Brooke just murdered Mr. Pierce. Somebody get the sheriff. Help, somebody. Come on, we gotta find him. You mean you let him get away? Sheriff, you ought to know me better than that. Well, he is your partner. Yeah, but I wouldn't protect the killer. I wonder. Stoney didn't have to kill Pierce to get that money. He could have taken the 22000 He took a lot more than 22000 That's probably your answer. Dude, how'd you make out? What do you think? Well, you got away with it. Yeah, with everybody except that banker. <laughs> and he's in no shape to talk. What are we going to do with the carbon copy? Oh, keep him around for a while. He might come in handy. Well, what do you mean? Well, I'll tell you. From now on, any job that we pull, our friend Mr. Brooke is going to get the blame for it. I'm going to get another outfit, just like this. I'll put him back in these clothes, 
And that if any sheriff comes snooping around, they'll get him. Boy, but you sure got a hit on you, dude. You're telling me. Hey, wait a minute. You saw Stony Brook enter the bank? Yes, I spoke to him. And you saw him go into Mr. Pierce's office? Yes, that's right. You're certain Mr. Pierce was alone? Yes, sir. Tell us exactly what happened after you heard the shots. Mr. Smith got to the door first. He opened it and... I saw Pierce lying on the floor behind the desk. Go on. And... Stoney was getting out through the window. Did you recognize the man who escaped through the window? Yeah. It was... It was Stoney, all right. The coroner jury found Stoney guilty of the Pierce killing. And in my opinion, they did more. They revealed the identity of the bandit leader. Wait a minute, Sheriff. That's impossible. How do you know? Don't forget that you and Lullaby have been away for the past three weeks. Now, during that time, these raids have taken place. But Stoney just couldn't belong to that outlaw gang. Well, then why didn't he go to Rock Springs with you boys? He's usually pretty keen about going away for a good time. Well, he had some business to take care of. I'll say he did. The business of robbing and killing the very ones that trusted and looked up to him. I'm organizing the biggest manhunt in the history of this county. And I'm deputizing every able-bodied man in this district. And ordering him to shoot to kill. How about you two? Are you willing to be sworn in? Yeah. Yeah, valuable. Say, that bird's a gold mine. If we hold out long enough, maybe we can raise Andy. Ah, uh, don't be a pig. Five thousand's good enough. We'll cash in tonight and make tracks for the border. Well, how are you going to get through? The whole country's knee-deep in sheriff's posse. Oh, Nick, use your head. When John Law gets his mitts on Stony Brook, they'll call off the manhunt. That's right. Are you taking up your supper? That's it. No, no, that won't do. After all, he's been a big help to us. We ought to show our appreciation. Give him one square meal before we uh, part company. With my compliments. Your compliments? Wait a minute. Maybe like something to read with his supper. Yeah, and you can take this too. <laughs> you and Joe saddle up whenever uh, you get through with your dinner. You're taking him into Red Rock. Okay. But I ain't exactly crazy about walking in any sheriff's office with a stiff. Ah, don't be a sucker. You're doing a public service. They'll probably make you a deputy. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get it. No, oh, thanks. No? Hey, what is this, a banquet? You guys are getting big hearted, aren't you? I think nothing of it. You're paying dividends. Anyway, dude's a great one for doing things according to Hoyle. 
I don't get it. Uh, you know, last meal, nifty spread. <clears throat> you ought to have seen the swell handout they give me old man up at the big house just before they hung him. Roast turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, ice cream, the works. Was that a meal? Funny thing, though. He wasn't even hungry. Oh, dude thought maybe you like to read while you eat. <laughs> I suppose, according to Hoyle, this execution takes place at sunrise? Oh, no, by sunrise we'll be halfway to the border. We'll let you finish your dinner, though. Oh, thanks. What is it, another job? Vacation. We'll take it easy at Steve's place for a while. That's quite a joint. Dude's girlfriend, Rosita, was a dancer there. You ought to drop down sometime. Oh, I forgot. You can't. No. No, and I, uh, I can't seem to cut this steak with these bracelets on. You do it for me, will you? Oh, sure, pal. <laughs> So I'll go and give our friend his demi tassi. His which? Never heard it called that before. I'll saddle up. Go on, Abe. Set, Chief. Nick, Joe, stop that guy, Brooke. He gave us a slip. We winged him before he got away. Where'd you lose him? Along the pass. Looks like he's headed for Mesquite. Look, Nick, and try and get this straight. Get to the nearest phone and tell the sheriff that Brooke was seen heading for Mesquite. We'll join you at Steve's. Sheriff Trask speaking. He was shot. Yeah. All right. We're heading for the 3M Ranch. I got a hunch we'll find Stoney there. And remember, we're taking no chances.
sheriff in town? Nope. We're gonna pick up some of the boys and keep searching this section. It's about time we're getting started. You and me gunning for Stoney. It just don't make sense. I know it. I can't understand why the kid had turned like that. What are we going to do if we find him? There's only one thing we can do, Lullaby. Stoney! Stoney! So they nabbed you, huh? I told you that hot head of yours would get you in trouble someday. I say, you too, huh? I came here thinking I'd find friends. You murdered one of your best friends. Take it easy, Tucson. And you tried to do the same thing to us. No, boys, I didn't. Listen, I... Stoney. Pretty bad. Get some water, quick. There's something phony about all this lullaby. If Stoney had turned killer, he wouldn't have come back here. What would we do, Tucson? That mob in Red Rock would get their hands on, they'd tear him to pieces. Yeah, you're right. We've got to get to the bottom of all this. And we've got to keep Stoney out of sight until we do. It's the sheriff and his boys. Here, get this out of here. Open this trap door, quick. Sheriff, I thought you were headed for the Mesquite country. I was until I got word that Stoney was in the neighborhood. Have you seen anything of him? No. Nope. Well, I have a hunch that you will. Stoney wouldn't dare show up here. Why not? Well, he'd figure this is the first place you'd come to look for him. He might be hiding around here at that. He knows every foot of this country. You know those caves over there in South Canyon? Yeah, that's right. He could hide in there. Well, let's take a look. We ought to look around here first. He might have slipped by without your seeing him. He might have. But I doubt it. Search the house. No sign of him out there. Nobody in there, Sheriff. All right. Where's the door to the cellar? All right, where is it? Over here. Oh, it's only a cat. He may be in the caves now, but he was here. And you fellas helped him get away. That makes you accessories to the crime. And I'm taking you in. Get moving. Get your hands in the air, man. I've got the cover. A lullaby. Yeah? 
Put him down in the cellar. You heard what he said, gents? All right, get going. Put your guns on the table. Come on, get in there. You'll regret this, Tony. No, I won't. Oh, so that's it. Very clever. Get down in there. Sorry we had to do this, Sheriff. Here? We had to. It's all right, Stoney. Lullaby told me all about it on the way out. I thought there was something funny about you turning bandit. Let's have a look at that shoulder. Hmm. Did you hurt bad, Doc? No, but we'll have to get that bullet out. And it will be one way of telling who's who. I want you to take things easy for a few days and you'll be all right. You mean stay here? You'll be safe. Safe? Aren't you forgetting I've got a date with my double? We'll keep that date for you. Thanks for coming, Doc. <laughs> it's all right. And try you can get your strength back before you start chasing any more outlaws. So long, boys. So long. So long, Doc, and thanks. Look, I feel all right. I'm going too. You're going to do as the Doc says. All right, but I'll bet you miss me. We better get going, Tucson. Sure hate to leave you this way, kid, but time is a pretty important element right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you figure on doing? I reckon our first stop will be Steve's joint. We're gonna try to get a line on Brandon there. Oh, oh Steve's joint, huh? Yeah. What you doing in town? That 20 years on the loose again. Read this. What's the matter with those dumb sheriffs? Imagine that just tipping them off, the dumb clucks. It's not so hot having a twin, is it? No, it isn't. You're going to have to keep that face of yours out of sight for a while. How about you on some whiskers or something? Yeah, I might. I'd be in the clear if I didn't look like that Stony Brook. Yeah, but you do. Hey, wait a minute. I can have this kisser changed. You what? They do it all the time. People have their maps changed so their own mother doesn't know them. Get me a doctor. Well, there's a vet over in Mesquite. Look, stupid, I don't want to look like a horse. I want one of those, uh... Oh, uh, you mean one of those plastic carvers. Yeah, yeah, that's it. How about that doc in Red Rock? He did a lot of that work during the war. Nick, you and Joe, go get him. Take him to Steve's joint. Gabby, go tell Rosita to get everything ready. I'll be along later. Get out. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? We got a friend who wants his face fixed. His face fixed? Oh, uh, you mean he's had an accident? No, not yet, but you're liable to have one. He just wants it changed. Changed? Well, I'm afraid I don't quite understand just what... You don't have to. Just get your tools together and come with us. Oh, yes. Yes, I think I do understand. Very well. Are we going very far? Far enough. Hurry up. The dude don't like to be kept waiting. Oh. Uh, just a moment. I'm going to have to stop at the drugstore to have a prescription filled. Well, can't Joe get it? Ah, uh, yes. Give that to the pharmacist. You may have to wait a little while till it's made up. Wait for it, Joe, and we'll go on ahead.
Make yourself right away. Well, you'll have to wait till the boss comes back. You see, I'm not a registered pharmacist. Well, how long will he be? I'll be back pretty soon. yourself, sweetheart. How am I doing? You are so cute. You are Spanish, eh? No. Oh, I know you're Irish. No, but I got a friend who's Irish. Oh, really? No, all right. <laughs> Where do you come from? Well, you might say I come from the tall timber. I guess that and got her. You little darling, I could squeeze you to be. You gotta go for me, don't you, too? Oh, I think you're beautiful. Don't you think I have lovely eyes? They're wonderful. And don't you think I've got pretty teeth? Take a look. Oh, yes. And my figure, don't you think I have a manly figure? Oh, yes. Sister, I'm such a bad egg that my best girl's afraid to drop me. <laughs> I am glad you are so brave because you know my boyfriend. Very jealous. What did I care? Where is he? Bring him on. I'll knock his ears off. He's not here now. And do you know what he will do to you when he comes? No. He will break you for tiny pieces and he will use you for toothpicks. <laughs> Maybe we better scram. I have to do my number now. You stay a little longer. Sure, we'll stick around. soon. Thank <laughs> you. 
darling. I'm so glad you have come. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah, it has, hasn't it? Tell me about everything. You make lots of money, yes? That's him, all right. Sure a dead ringer for Stoney. I get things ready, like you say, but I don't like it. Oh, no? Why not? Maybe afterwards you will be different and I will not love you anymore. <laughs> sure acts like Stoney. Come on, dude. Everything's all ready. Please, dude, don't let them do it. Why, it's all right. It is Donnie. Next time I will be kissing a stranger. Not bad, eh? Everything you ordered, including the dog. This is dude Brandon. The gent wants his map rerouting. What's the matter, dude? You nervous? Yeah, kind of. Oh, don't be scared. He'll put you to sleep before he starts carving, won't you, Doc? Uh, by the way, uh, has the boy arrived yet with the prescription? Oh, no, not yet, but he'll be along any minute now. Can't you start without it? Well, yes. I can prepare the patient for the operation. Just what do you wish done? Uh, well, that's, that's up to you, Doc. Or just fix him up so he'll draw his gun every time he looks in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that's the idea. Very well. Lie down here, please. Yeah. I'm going to need some boiling water to sterilize these instruments. Uh, Would you get it for me, please? Well, Gabby's outside. He can get it. Get it yourself. Okay, dude. Hey, Doc, can't we stall till Brandon gets here, fake this operation? Leave it to me, I'll take care of it. Let's find out what's going on up there. Better wait. We might ruin Stoney's plans. Maybe they're having tea. Oh, yes. Place it over there, please. Oh, Mr. Lyons. Yes? This man wants a prescription filled. I'm in a hurry. Take a few minutes. Say, this is quite a layout. If you don't mind, this is very difficult work. I can't do it with anybody around. Sure, sure, I'll wait outside. Task. Hello? This is Lyons the Druggist. I just had a message from Doc Martin. There's a man in my store right now. When he leaves here, you will follow him and he leads you to the man you're looking for. All right, we'll follow him.
Who are you? I'm Duke Brandon. But I just operated on you. <laughs> That's a hard one. You carved the wrong face. That's Stony Brook. This is Stony Brook. You got my message? Yeah. What message? I left word to have Trask trail this man. Is that what all them hen scratches on that prescription meant? A ball of dirty, low down, double crossing tricks. Where's Tony? I reckon he's out taking care of dudes. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> great pleasure to present you with this check for $5,000. You boys have done this community a great service by capturing a desperate criminal. And you justly deserve the reward. Well, well, getting paid for catching himself. What a racket, what a racket. <laughs> <laughs> 